Don't fall for it. Don't fall for it. This is the don't fall for it segment. We need uh, like a theme music. Yeah, for this. like, like the whole, I, we need the, the lady from Burger King, the I've fallen in the Taylor and I can't Swift, get, right? Or, this is Las Vegas Real Estate Now with local real estate expert Harvey Blankfeld. Don't fall for it. When you buy a home, mm -hmm. you're going to get all these mailings and they're going to try to sell you various things. And one of the most egregious in my mind is there's there's a entity out, an entity out there that wants to sell you a certified copy of your deed <laughs> uh, for your home. Yes. And I'm telling you, don't fall for don't it. Don't fall for that. First of all, there's there's uh, two things on this. One, you can go online on our county's website, the assessor's website. You can get a copy of your deed anytime you want it. You'll get a free copy from the title company that closed your transaction. Um, as part of it, just be patient. It'll come in a couple of weeks, most likely, after purchasing your house. This is something you do not need in our market. Right. Okay. And one step further is if you're one of those people that's concerned about somebody doing kind of title fraud on you and stealing your property, you hear these advertisements out there in the world. Clark County has a, a service through the recorder's website where you can side, sign up for monitoring of the title of your property. Right. If somebody were to file a lien, yep. change the title of your property, you'd get a mo and get notified and be able to handle it right in that moment. Yep. So don't fall for it. Don't spend money on these bad products. Outstanding. Well, well said. Stacia, what do you got for me? Don't fall for it. Don't fall for it when... You get those mailers in your home when you, after you close. It's a blue envelope. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and they have an eighteen ninety nine tune up service. Right. Don't fall for it. Yeah. They, some of the best salespeople in the nation are um, service providers that can sell you on fear. Right. Mm. And you should maintain all your systems. Yep. But you know what? Talk to a, someone that's licensed on your own. Don't reach out to these gimmicks that are so cheap. Yeah. Because they're just looking to sell you something. So else. that kind of falls in the too good to be true category. Too good to be true. Yeah. Like yes. if they're only charging you nineteen dollars. What can they do? Yeah. Right. So exactly. what they do is I can tell you exactly what they do. They <laughs> come out and they tell you they, they upsell you. Yeah. Oh, by the way, yeah, your system's working great, except it's going to fall, fall apart in about three weeks, right. Right. and you're going to need a whole yeah. new system. Exactly. And that's what they do for thirteen thousand dollars. For thirteen thousand. Or you have two to be ACs. Alive. And there's, it's twenty eight thousand dollars later. And oh yeah. my goodness! Yes, that's exactly. You know what we just found out? You only have two air conditioners. You're supposed to have four on a house this size. <laughs> this size. So yeah. it's one per room is the rule. I don't know why you guys only have two. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, and that happens all the, all the time. It does. We quick story. We had Please. somebody that went. It wasn't in my territory, but somebody went to uh, a home improvement store, and you know they have people selling AC things there. I've seen that. And they, she went there, and she. He convinced her. She's like, oh, no, no, I don't need a new AC. I have a home warranty company if something fails. Oh, we work with AC company or we're home warranty companies all the time. She got a whole system installed, sent us the bill, and we told her, wah, wah, sorry. Yeah. And, it's a, you know, it's a bad experience. I understand oh, that. Wow. Yes. Oh, look at the sound <laughs> I like that. But there's a process just like any insurance. Yeah. Yep. I, you know, look, it's it, there's so many things out there, and real estate is such a big part of everyone's lives, and the numbers are so big. That's what happens. So, yes. so don't fall. Don't tends don't. to attract the criminals. You know? Yes. Right. Yeah. You know, I, I want to talk. So, so, what's the segment called again, John? Don't fall for don't, it. Don't fall for it. So, don't fall for it. There's TV commercials all the time. Well, not so much now because there's a lot of political commercials going on <laughs> right now. There's TV commercials all the time. Offering to buy your house for cash. These guys, I've seen these. These are yes. on TV all the time. There and there's and it's so convenient. And you can stay in the home, and I'll let you stay there. Right. These are wonderful sales pitches. The problem is, is you're paying for that convenience. Just understand that that person's not buying your house to live in it. They're buying it to flip it. They're yep. buying it to sell it to somebody else for more money, and you're giving that money up when you sell it to somebody. I I, I liken it to selling it to a wholesaler versus selling it retail. I mean, sure. Right. So you're selling it to an end user, someone who's going to live there, or, uh, uh, you know, or are you going to sell it to a major company who's going to either decide they want to invest more money in it or not, mm -hmm. and just sell it for a bigger amount of money and take the profit that you could have gotten had you been a little more patient. Right. Now, some people can't be patient. I understand that they want to get it done. They want to get it done quick. I still tell you to talk with a realtor <laughs> to make sure you understand what you're doing. Like plan A. And yeah. I hope not. Yeah, right. because yeah. You're, when you're desperate, when you're desperate, you, you just cost you money. So let's not do that. So so don't fall for it. Don't, right. don't, Definitely not in your best interest. It's not. It's not.